Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about hypocrisy, lies and deceit. Lorna Chin is a woman of Asian descent. And this is not an attack on Lorna Chin. She might mean well, I don't know. But a lot of the things she does is very deceptive. On her Instagram, she have this story talking about the difference between colonialism and predatory lending. It seems to me that she was defending predatory lending. You can be the judge of it. For those who are not aware, the Europeans are mainly known for colonialization, while the Asians or the Chinese are known for predatory lending. Not saying that the Europeans don't do both, they do both now, but they are mainly known for colonialization. Lorna Chin has an Asian background. She has a Chinese background. She used the image of Europeans and stated this. Colonialism refers to the practice of acquiring and maintaining control over territory and its people. This control involves the establishment of settlements and the imposition of the colonizer's culture, language, and governments on a population. It often results to significant social, economic, and political changes. In contrast, predatory loans involve lending practices where the lender exploits the borrower, often through unfair or deceptive terms that are not in the borrower's best interest. While predatory loans can lead to significant economic hardships and dependency, they do not equate to colonialism. Colonialism involves direct control and governance over a country, including political and cultural domination. Predatory loans do not involve direct administration or cultural imposition, characteristics of colonial rule. Then she ended it with this statement. Learn the difference and call it what it is. Stop spreading misinformation and hate mongering and stop blaming random Asian people for your problems. At first glance, it sounded like she was going to be fair and impartial in rendering judgment. It seems like she was going to say that both predatory lending and colonialism is just as deadly. They are just as dangerous. They are just as wicked. They are just as evil. But no, there was a twist in the end. She is really telling you that predatory lending is really not that bad. Even though it is exploiting the borrower and may cause a bit of an economic hardship, it is nothing like taking over a culture. But how does she really know? Is she sitting in the meetings with these people? Do she know their 100 year plans? How can she look at what's happening in Jamaica and Africa and other parts of the world and say that predatory lending is not twins with colonialism? It's basically the same thing. It is just rendered a different way. That's all. It's simply a different approach. One is more aggressive. Another is more passive. But at the end of the day, it is still poison. It's going to kill you regardless. So do you want to get with a knife or do you want to get with a sword regardless your children will be ruled by another people another group of people will have control over your economy they will have control over the future of your country Lorna Chin has almost 200,000 followers on Instagram and I understand she used a lot of Caribbean people stories to post on Instagram so you can make money you know you make a lot of money when you post stories and you get views on instagram and maybe she can't find a lot of stories that has to do with asian folks even when you scroll down her page just about every single post on there has to do with african people 80 percent of it and a few images of her and maybe one or two other asians lorna is aware that there's a problem she's telling you to stop blaming asian people for your problem and I agree with her. The one thing we haven't done since slavery ended is to take matters into our own hand. We keep leaving everybody else in our business. And they see the problem. They know the problem. 
but they're not telling you what the real issue is. They're not telling you how to deal with it because if they do, then you're going to become a competition and they don't want you to be competition. So what we have to do is take matters into our own hand. The few, the vanguards, we need to get it right.